Hey YouTube, it's your girl Dr. J and I am back with another homeschooling STEM video and this one is on the periodic table. Now a lot of times when we're teaching our kids chemistry and we're teaching them about the periodic table, we'll use something a little bit like this. Okay, this is this one I got from Gravitas Press and it is um, from Real Science for Kids, people that do Real Science for Kids and we like it, it's good, it's interesting. Um, it has, you know, different colors so it's easy on the eyes and that's okay. But why use that when well, you can use this this one is on the elements um, uh, by Theodore Gray and this is it's just beautiful and it just has much more realistic and interesting pictures for kids to see and on the back it has the information on all the different elements which is fun um, but I will admit it's big, you know, it's pretty big. I can't even get it all in one screenshot. It's pretty big and bulky and it doesn't fit really well on shelves, but it's fun and it's um, protected in a, in a covering. So, you know, if, you're, if your children get stuff on it, you can just wipe it clean. Great, but there's also these, the elements, photographic um, card deck of the elements and this again beautiful I mean I'm just gonna you know pull a couple cards out randomly to show you guys what I'm talking about but like look it's, is this not like just amazingly beautiful the back has lots of cool information all the information that your child will need and on the front is a, a, an amazingly um, realistic picture of the elements that we can have pictures for so this um, manganese isn't it just wonderful on the back it lets you know when it was discovered where it was discovered basic information about it but it just puts it right up close and, and, and personal in your kids face so they can get a much better understanding of what you're talking about lead okay how how great is that good historical information about it but I just love the brilliance of the pictures the cards are really good quality they're not um, they're not real cheap and flim flimsy they, they have um, a, a good card stock the pictures are phenomenal phenomenal I got this off of Amazon and it is the elements phonetic uh, I mean photographic um, card deck and it's great but you guys know me I do everything in triplicate so another thing that I got <coughs> was the elements vault and again this is Theodore's Gray's elements vault and it says it comes with five real element samples including pure gold as well as 23 removable documents and this is what the book looks like again beautiful beautiful uh, vibrant pictures um, in the book okay lots of great information and then in each of the flaps you're gonna have different cards that your kids can pull out and see and use and get up close and personal with and um, some flaps are larger like these are some of the larger flaps that you'll see where there'll be documents inside those but again be beautifully brilliant pictures throughout and um, I want to get to like some of the pull out samples so that you guys can see some of those some um, a sample but uh, the information is just amazing and you guys see how, how I'm uh, like tearing through this I'm not like being real careful and you know nothing is tearing or falling out I mean you don't want you know little kids chewing on the pages or anything like that but it, it's not going to be so um, gentle that you don't have to be so gentle that your kids can't really get into it and, and start to out like show some of the pictures while I'm going through the book like specific examples. Um, this like this one it says um, this page says how big is an atom? So inside the um, 
flap, it's going to give you um, some information on how big, you know, how big an atom might be. Okay, so that's um, really good information that's going to be inside there. And okay, here's a here's a nice sample to show you guys. This one is boron. Okay, it's element boron. And inside this flap is a cool sample that your kids will be able to pull out and play with and touch and feel and get to know. And I love this book because it is such a great way to teach children about the elements because Remember STEM, all about doing, manipulating, having an opportunity to see how it works and see how it goes. And to have something like this. No, you're not going to use this. is not going to be your primary chemistry um, kit. And you will need supplemental information because this, you know, this is not going to be just a real, real hardcore science. But for your child to get a better understanding of the elements and be able to see see them, the ones that we can see to be able to see them, to see mock-ups of them, and the ones that we can touch and feel, to be able to do that, it is just so amazingly, it's beautiful for children, it's fun, it makes it real, it makes it more exciting, it makes the conversation much more engaging. I got all these things off of Amazon, um, honestly, I'm sorry, I don't remember the price, but they, they weren't really expensive at all. I know this book was the most expensive, and I know... Um, it was less than um, $50, but you can see like uh, another good thing is guys always check your local library because sometimes your library is willing to get um, books like this to have um, behind their reference desk so that you may be able to just go and only use it at the library, but it's still worth the trip and then sometimes if you're ready to invest in something, if you're if it's really a situation where your child is getting ready to go into higher level chemistry and they really need to know the elements, or if your child has a good passion for science, my kids are just they just have a lot of passion around science, so that's why we invest really heavily in, in science um, stuff. But it's just a really, really fun and engaging way. And like I said, this you know this isn't terrible. This isn't terrible, okay? Sorry, <laughs> this is, is not terrible, but it's just not as engaging or exciting or as beautiful as this. And it just doesn't allow for the manipulation and the hands-on experience that you're going to get. You know, when your child can pick up this and see it and play with it. And, and get a better understanding of what are we really talking about for these things. So, um, again, this is by um, Theodore Gray. This The book is by um, Simon Quellen Field and Theodore Gray. Pictures by Theodore Gray. Uh, this um, car, These cards are, again, pictures by Theodore Gray as well. And I found them off of Amazon. So, hope this helps. This is Dr. J. And I'm out. Bye.